Hey everyone, it's Becca. Welcome back to my channel. You know it's been quite a while. Um, I'm in the festive spirit. I am in my new apartment. So this is my bedroom. Um, so bear with me with figuring out um, my uh, like lighting situation and I mean the lighting's pretty good but more the setup location. You can see just like my unmade bed and my closet mirror and even out there so I don't know we'll, we'll play around with it but um, did this gorgeous, this was a thrift thick inspired look and she did it actually off of someone else's, um, some Instagram look she saw. It was basically using, trying to recreate looks with just shadows you already have, which I love and I was able to do the same. I didn't even have everything she had so, um, I did go out and buy a palette just cause I've been wanting a palette, the Sephora Smoky Pro palette or something but anyway. Um, yeah, things are going well. I'm in the holiday spirit, like I said. Um, only six days till Christmas, and that's nine till my birthday, I guess, so very excited. But anyway, let me get into, um, these empties. I honestly just kind of gotten back into wearing makeup. Um, I wasn't wearing it for the majority of 2020, or maybe half of it, I would say. Um, but I have been enjoying getting back into it, so anyway. This I loved. This is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. I honestly had a bottle of this, the coconut one, for so long in my shower and used it here or there. Um, I didn't love how it, like, I don't love how it's intended to be used, which is um, after you turn the shower off when you're still wet in the shower, then you apply it. But then I get cold and I just don't love that, like, wet skin. So I actually use it, like, in the shower, right before I'm going to get out of the shower. I've already cleansed and all that. Um, then I apply this with the shower running, um, do a quick rinse off, but this is still kind of on my skin and that's how I like to use it. So anyway, this is the, so yeah, and then I got back into this in quarantine when my, um, step-grandmother was living with us for a few months. Um, she started using this. Um, so it's funny, it's like I had it first, but then I saw like my brother's girlfriend use it and her legs always look so moisturized and nice after it. And then my step-grandmother was using mine. So anyway, um, this is the um, Enriched with Shea Butter Oil and Hyaluronic Acid. So I do like this one. The coconut one's more for like the summer. Um, my friend had like the green tea one, which they don't sell anymore. And I loved that scent. But anyway, that is that. Then this was the first ever um, purple shampoo that I had. It's like looks blue the bottle so I was gonna say blue shampoo um but purple shampoo for my hair this was at the salon this is the matrix total results brass off color obsessed shampoo um I did like this one it's very very dark I'm actually not even gonna open it because I feel like it's gonna stain something um I honestly wasn't using it properly when I first got it which is you know leaving it on the hair um but yeah I think it like does a better job cleaning than another one I have but that one I feel like just slightly beats out the toning aspects but I do really like that because it's good like I said it's all around a good um, product I don't feel like I need to use another shampoo to cleanse my skin um this is the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Stress Relief Eucalyptus and Spearmint this is one of my favorites I love it I use it I think this one I used as bubble bath but I also use it just as a um you know a, a body what a body wash <laughs> um okay here's the coconut Jergens. Like I said, I've just been going through those. I really like it. Um, another shower product. This is the Skin to Mid Skin Therapy Moisturizing Rich Roaming Lather Shave Cream Sensitive Skin. I don't love the sensitive skin ones, honestly. don't feel like they actually work that well. I feel like they're kind of worse for sensitive skin sometimes. Um, but yeah, it was kind of nice to get back to a shaving cream instead of like a shaving gel. But it was nice. Um, okay, this was the Sensodyne Extra Fresh Repair and Protect Toothpaste. I love Sensodyne. I use that as my night toothpaste. I know I'm weird and I have two morning and the night one. But the thing is, is the bottles with those, the caps where I'd screw it on, that little spout, it, it would snap off for two of them now I've had it where it snapped off. Okay, that was a slow focus. But yeah, it would like, the cap or the spout would like snap off and then toothpaste would just go squirting everywhere and then I obviously couldn't screw it back on because the little grooves didn't exist anymore so I don't know what's been going on with those and it happened to me two times in a row so we'll see with this one if it happens again because if it does I might have to find a new um, toothpaste which sucks. Okay I used up this poopery 
um, Before You Go Toilet Spraying Spiced Apple. I love this one for the fall. Very good. Um, this I just finished today. This is the Olaplex number no. 4 Bond Maintenance Shampoo. So I used it today with the conditioner um, and the two treatments, the oil and the like mask. Um, Leave-in mask. So yeah, I'm almost done the conditioner. I do have backups. Um, I do like their number three in their primer. I just didn't do that today. Didn't think about it, but um, I love that shampoo. It makes my hair so soft afterwards, and I know it's good for my um, blonde hair. Um, okay, this is the Degree Fresh Energy Motion Sense um, deodorant. I like this one, and I like this scent. I have a new scent now because I couldn't find this one. Um, but yeah, okay, next I have a mini of the Becca First Light Priming Filter. I love this one. I already have a backup. Oh, and all of these products I'd purchase again besides this, and we'll see about the Sensodyne. Um, I love, love, loved this. Recently finished this up. This is the Fresh Sugar Lemon Hydrating Lip Balm. We're going to use up a lip balm. I mean, I've been better recently, but it's a big feat. I love the smell of this. Just, I love everything about it. I have the watermelon one now, and... I don't love it as much in terms of um, the scent, and I just feel like it doesn't work as much. Okay, this is the Milk um, Makeup Kush Lip Balm. It's the green one. I love this. Um, I do actually have another one. Oh, I actually have two in here. See, yeah, one of them smells better than the other. My first original one I had of this, um, and just this packaging, like, hello, feels so weighty, even though these are, even though these are empty, but I love these. Um, just the first one smelled better than the second one. The second I got like smelled off and I actually returned it, got a new one and it still kind of smelled off. So I don't know. Now the one I have now smells okay. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. But I do have to say I go through these quickly, speaking of never, never going through lip products, um, because I keep this and this is in Green Dragon, but it's clear. And I go, these, go through these really quick, quickly um, just because they don't have a lot of product in them. So th these have 0.1 ounces or 3 grams. This is 0.17 or 4.8 grams. That's just a colored one. Let me look at something else. What about this Hello Kitty? Um, this Hello Kitty is 0.15, 4.2. So not that much more. Let's see how much this chapstick has. Um, this chapstick has 0.12. Honestly, okay, not as small as I thought. This has seven, one, seven grams, 0.25. So this is more than twice as big as these ones. So, I mean, they are on the smaller side, um, even though they look to be bigger. So just keep that in mind. Um, I'm also throwing out this Ulta Cranberry Lip Balm. I think it went bad on me, so I didn't really use that that much. This was this, like, free one that I got. I can't even tell what the brand is, throwing that out. Um, this EOS, I think this was in, like, vanilla or something, also went bad on me. Those EOSs go really, really quickly. Um, I love these Revo, and this is a mini one, I think in like the strawberry scent. Um, that one just melted on me, unfortunately, but I do love those, and they last a long time in terms of not going bad. I finished up the mini Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Um, I like this, though, um, with Jen Loves Reviews video she on lip balms, she said that this is more like um, protecting than healing, so in terms of a mask, you want it to be like healing. Um, so I mean I use it, I use it at night because it is like kind of thick, which I like, um, but once I, I have so many of them, but once I go through them I probably wouldn't repurchase. This one I'm throwing out, this is the Baby Lips Dr. Rescue, the only Baby Lips I've had. How many, how many, how many oh yeah, and expired in 2016 apparently. Um, this has, and I actually don't think this really works, this has 4.4 grams. So again, like half as big, or it has like, it's 1.5 as big as the, Milk one, so yeah, throwing that out. Um, this is the Lashes MD Eyelash and Eyebrow Conditioner. So this one actually, um, some of the other ones sting my eyes. This one wasn't as bad, though I did start having some eye irritation, but I don't know if it was this, but I really think it, I was using it on my eyebrows, especially when I was getting eye irritation, and on my lashes, I really do think it, it did something, um, especially at that point when I wasn't wearing as much makeup, so I think that was helping as well. This is the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara, um, just a mini. I mean, I don't prefer these r rubber bristles, but I remember this being okay. Um, also mascara, I have this Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effects Mascara. Um, I like the brush. Again, I think I just remember it was good. I don't, it's kind of a while ago, so I don't really remember much besides that. Um, okay, some... 
I've had these Urban Decay, I mean eyeliners last forever, but I've had these forever. This is in Gunmetal, Ransom, these Marc Jacob ones, I love these gel ones, but they dry up on me. This is in Blacker, um, this is a Kiko Milano double sided one, um, Double Glam in 117, that dried up on me. This other Blacker one, um, then this Urban Decay Whiskey in Zero finally dried up on me. I think that came with my Urban Decay Naked Palette. Boy, that was a long time ago. The Sephora Iced Brown dried up on me. Sometimes you can sharpen them and liven them back up, but um, not this time. Um, an eye cream that I used up is this. This is a mini of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. I actually did like that. Um, I used up this Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. This was the OG one, I'm pretty sure, and I'm so sad that they've made it vegan now because I love the lanolin in here. So I recently got the Lanolips Coconut because um, I think it has a few more things than just straight lanolin. And I've been using that at night, and I really, really, really like it, especially because it's just that like thick, occlusive layer that, um, since I drill at night because I can't breathe through my nose because of my allergies, that actually does um, a really good job for me. So it still comes off. Um, my lips are, like... Don't I don't have it on my lips in the morning, but I like it. Um, this is the Lancome Sills Booster. Um, the problem is it's just like I don't consistently, and I forgot today, I don't consistently use lash primers, but then they, you know, you use them up quickly. So especially high-end ones, like I don't know how worth it it is. I'm currently testing out the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer that I've heard good things about, so we'll see about that. Um, what else? This It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream, SPF 50. I love this stuff. This was my go-to for, like, my holy grail for so long. Now I don't use it as much. I find it to be, like, not as moisturizing as it could be, but really great coverage. This was in the shade Fair, and now I feel like the shades are slightly different since they've expanded and not even done that good of a job, but, um, is what it is. I do like that, and I did repurchase it. This is the Malibu Scalp Therapy wellness scalp remedy. I love this stuff. It's great like for my scalp when it's been itchy. Oh, how is my battery already low? I charged that. Oh, that's annoying. Um, so yeah, I, I repurchased those. I really like those. I went through a few of those. Um, I used up this Medicine Mama V Magic Intimate Skin Balm, um, which is good because it expired. Oh no. I don't even know. Expires in... Yeah, I think it was expired in 2020, but I love this. I use it after shaving um, my bikini area. I apply this, and it helps to not get um, irritation, razor bumps, all that good stuff, and then you can just apply it if you're dry or, you know, really whatever, so I love that stuff, and I did repurchase it. Um, I'm going to try to save this airless pump, but this is the Revlon Color Stay in 110 Ivory. I love, love, love this. This was my holy grail, my perfect shade. I love this. And then they changed the freaking, I don't know if they changed the formula, but they changed um, the shades. And I'm so, so sad because 110 Ivory was perfect for me. Um, what else? I'm this, ooh, this Smashbox always on liquid lipstick in Girl Gang dried up on me, which I didn't, don't even think I had it for that long. Um, this Lush Rose Arc and Body Conditioner. I love these. I don't, I was collecting these tins to return, and now with the move and all that, I don't think I did, but um, I, I love this stuff. The rose isn't my favorite scent, but I do like those. I want to try some of the other scents. And then for a while, because my skin is actually okay now, um, I'm really using some great treatment products, and I'm on birth control again now. But for a while there, when I was off of birth control, my skin was horrible, like during this summer, summer, late summer early fall, um, I was using Curology because I had heard about it because I'm not, you know, with the pandemic, I'm not trying to go to doctor's offices, like a dermatologist that I don't need to necessarily. Um, but yeah, I was using this. So um, I still have a few that I'm using up. I had the treatments that was specific for my skin and what I was, and what I needed. Um, I had the Acme body wash. I'm still making my way through that. And then the cleanser. I did really like the cleanser. I'm still working through a big size that I have in my shower right now. Um, I just don't know how worth it it is. Um, I mean, it is a cool alternative, but um, it's just expensive. Like, I think your first month you get 50% off or something, so that's not bad. But yeah, so I mean, those are all the empties. I feel like I did a pretty good job. A lot of smaller things, some things I didn't quite actually use up, but you know, I'm, I'm proud of that. <laughs> so anyway, I'm really excited to be making videos again. Um, I'll probably do like a what I got for Christmas video um, 
Maybe I'll do a yearly favorites. I'm not sure. But let me know what you guys want to see because um, I'll need some ideas. So yeah, anyway, hope you guys are all doing well and um, happy holidays. And until next time, bye everyone.